Energy drinks are everywhere. You see them at the checkout counter, in vending machines, at the gym, in the hands of students cramming for exams, and even on the desks of busy professionals trying to power through their day. They're often packaged in flashy cans with bold colors and aggressive slogans, promising maximum energy, focus, and performance. And let's be real, when you're tired, drained, or struggling to keep up, that promise can feel pretty tempting. But what's hiding behind that sleek branding is a powerful mix of sugar, caffeine, artificial ingredients, and stimulants. And that combination can wreak absolute havoc on your system, especially if you have a condition like diabetes. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Dia Salon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. What happens in your body after just one sip is a chemical chain reaction that most people don't even think twice about. Your heart rate goes up, your blood vessels constrict, your blood sugar spikes, and your hormones shift into overdrive, all within minutes. And if your body already struggles to regulate insulin or glucose, which is the case for people with type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, or prediabetes, that tiny sip becomes a big problem very quickly. The impact isn't just short-term either. It can lead to long-term complications that affect your heart, kidneys, brain, and more. Maybe you've had an energy drink today. Maybe you drink them regularly without thinking twice. Or maybe someone you love relies on them every day to get through work, workouts, or school. No judgment, just solid information. Because once you understand what these drinks do inside your body, after even just a little bit, you'll see why they're worth being cautious about. Let's start by unpacking the contents of a typical energy drink. Most popular brands contain a combination of sugar, caffeine, B vitamins, taurine, guarana, and sometimes other stimulants or herbal additives. It's not uncommon for a single 16-ounce can to contain upwards of 40 to 60 grams of sugar. That's about 10 to 15 teaspoons of sugar, often consumed in a few quick gulps. Now, sugar is absorbed very quickly by your body, especially when it's in liquid form. As soon as you take that first sip, sugar begins to be absorbed through the mucous membranes in your mouth and continues to flood your bloodstream through your digestive system. This creates a rapid spike in your blood glucose levels, which is extremely problematic for someone whose body already struggles to regulate those levels, like individuals with diabetes. A sugar spike may happen within minutes, and it can be intense. In a healthy individual, the pancreas reacts quickly to this surge in glucose by releasing insulin, which helps cells absorb sugar from the bloodstream and use it for energy. But for people with type 2 diabetes, the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or the cells become resistant to insulin, meaning glucose isn't absorbed effectively. For those with type 1 diabetes, the pancreas doesn't produce insulin at all, and managing blood sugar requires a delicate balance of medication, diet, and lifestyle. So after just one sip of an energy drink, the already compromised glucose regulation system is thrown into chaos. This can lead to hyperglycemia, which comes with symptoms like fatigue, extreme thirst, frequent urination, irritability, and even blurry vision. And it's not just uncomfortable, it can be dangerous if left unmanaged, especially when energy drinks are consumed frequently. But wait, there's more. Energy drinks are also loaded with caffeine, sometimes as much as 300 milligrams per can, equivalent to about three cups of coffee. Caffeine stimulates the central nervous system, giving you that alert, wired feeling. It does this in part by prompting the adrenal glands to release stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. This tells your liver to release glycogen, which is stored glucose, into your bloodstream. So now, not only are you getting sugar from the drink itself, but your body is adding even more glucose into the mix, all while it may be unable to properly absorb or utilize it. This dual assault of sugar and caffeine creates a metabolic storm that makes it incredibly difficult for someone with diabetes to maintain stable blood sugar levels. It's like pouring gasoline on a fire your body is already struggling to put out. That temporary high you feel from an energy drink, the alertness, the jolt of energy, the elevated mood, is very short-lived. Within an hour or two, your body starts to crash, 
and that's when things get even worse. The sugar crash is real, and for people with diabetes, it can lead to more serious swings in blood sugar levels, including sudden dips that can cause weakness, dizziness, confusion, and intense cravings. These cravings often lead people to reach for more sugar or caffeine, restarting the cycle. This constant up and down pattern of glucose and insulin surges leads to something called glucose variability, which is extremely harmful over time. Research shows that glucose variability contributes to long-term complications of diabetes, such as nerve damage, kidney disease, and vision problems. So even though that energy drink may only last a couple of hours, the metabolic chaos it creates can echo through your body for much longer. Now let's talk about the so-called healthier options, sugar-free or zero-calorie energy drinks. Many people assume these are safe alternatives for those with diabetes, but that's not always true. These versions are often packed with artificial sweeteners like sucralose, aspartame, or acesulfame potassium. While these don't raise blood sugar in the same way as traditional sugar, research suggests they may still have an impact on insulin response, gut microbiome health, and even appetite regulation. Your brain still perceives sweetness, and that triggers certain hormonal reactions that can confuse your metabolism. In some studies, regular consumption of artificial sweeteners has been linked to increased insulin resistance, weight gain, and a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes, yes, even when actual sugar isn't involved. So unfortunately, switching to sugar-free doesn't always mean risk-free. Another important factor is heart health. Diabetes already increases your risk of developing cardiovascular issues, and energy drinks can compound that risk dramatically. The high caffeine content can lead to elevated blood pressure, increased heart rate, and even irregular heart rhythms. These effects can be especially dangerous for individuals with underlying conditions. There are documented cases of people, even young adults, experiencing arrhythmias and cardiac arrests after consuming multiple energy drinks. And remember, you don't need to be guzzling them down daily for this to happen. Sometimes, just one can can trigger these issues in sensitive individuals. If your blood sugar is already poorly controlled, the added strain from stimulants can significantly increase your risk of serious events like stroke or heart attack, especially if energy drinks are consumed on top of poor diet or stress. Now let's zoom out and look at the long-term effects of regularly consuming energy drinks while living with diabetes. Over time, frequent sugar and caffeine intake can lead to chronic insulin resistance, making it even harder for your body to manage glucose. It can also contribute to weight gain, particularly in the abdominal area, which is strongly associated with type 2 diabetes progression and cardiovascular disease. Energy drinks can also stress the liver and kidneys, especially if you already have diabetic complications. Excess sugar can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, while the dehydrating effects of caffeine constrain kidney function. Bad news for people who already need to monitor these organs closely. What might start as a casual pick-me-up can quietly accelerate long-term damage to your body over weeks, months, and years. Hydration is another crucial issue. Caffeine is a diuretic, meaning it causes your body to lose water by increasing urination. For people with diabetes, staying hydrated is critical for keeping blood sugar levels in check supporting kidney health, and preventing complications like diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. When you're dehydrated, your blood becomes more concentrated and glucose levels can spike further. Combine that with the sugar and energy drinks and the stimulant effect of caffeine, and you've got a perfect storm of factors that can lead to hospitalization. And it's not just water loss. When you urinate more frequently, you're also losing essential electrolytes, which can cause headaches, muscle cramps, and fatigue. You might feel tired and wired at the same time, which is a miserable and unhealthy state to be in. Let's also consider how energy drinks might interfere with diabetes medications. Some medications are designed to lower your blood sugar gradually, but if you suddenly dump a load of sugar and stimulants into your system, it can override or confuse that process. Caffeine may also reduce the effectiveness of insulin or metformin, too commonly prescribe treatments or exaggerate their side effects. You might experience symptoms like nausea, shakiness, anxiety, or heart palpitations. There's also the risk of hypoglycemia if your body miscalculates the insulin dose needed for the spike. 
It's a dangerous guessing game, and unfortunately, energy drinks don't come with warnings tailored for people managing chronic illnesses. So what are the alternatives if you're tired, low on energy, or need a boost? The truth is, there are better ways to increase energy that won't sabotage your health. Simple lifestyle changes can go a long way. For example, drinking cold water with a splash of lemon, snacking on a handful of nuts or apple slices with peanut butter, or even going for a five-minute brisk walk can naturally stimulate your energy levels. Other options include green tea, which has a gentler dose of caffeine and contains antioxidants, or adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha or rhodiola, which help support your adrenal system without causing spikes. Building a consistent sleep schedule, eating balanced meals with complex carbs and protein, and managing stress through mindfulness or movement will do more for your energy and your long-term blood sugar control than any energy drink ever could. So now that we've walked through everything that happens inside your body, from that very first sip of an energy drink, all the way through the chemical, hormonal, and metabolic responses that follow, it's clear that these popular beverages are anything but harmless, especially for people living with diabetes or at risk for it. What may seem like just a quick pick-me-up or a minor indulgence can actually set off a chain of events that challenges your body in ways you can't feel immediately, but that could have lasting consequences. That spike in blood sugar, that increase in blood pressure, the burden on your heart, liver, and kidneys. These are real effects that add up sip after sip, can after can. The thing about energy drinks is that they're so widely available and normalized that we rarely pause to question them. They're everywhere. They're convenient. They promise energy and focus and productivity, which is what so many of us are looking for. But the reality is the cost to your health is often hidden behind marketing and buried beneath all the buzzwords. If you have diabetes or even if you're trying to manage your blood sugar or prevent future health issues, Energy drinks aren't just a bad idea. They can actually be dangerous. And unfortunately, the damage isn't always immediate. It's the cumulative effect of regular consumption that silently chips away at your insulin sensitivity, your organ function, and your overall metabolic health. But here's the good news. You have control. You have options. Once you understand what these drinks are really doing, you can start making smarter choices, whether that means cutting back, switching to safer alternatives, or avoiding them altogether. And if you've already been consuming energy drinks regularly, it's never too late to make a change. Your body is incredibly resilient, and just giving it a break from these extreme sugar and caffeine bombs can help you regain energy naturally, stabilize your blood glucose levels, and reduce your risk of long-term complications. You'll feel better, think more clearly, sleep more soundly, and put less strain on your body every single day. It's also worth thinking beyond yourself. If you have friends, family, or loved ones who rely on energy drinks without realizing the risks, especially if they have diabetes or are pre-diabetic, share what you've learned. These conversations matter. Small changes in daily habits, like skipping that energy drink in favor of water, tea, or a protein-rich snack, can make a huge difference over time. The more we understand about how our bodies respond to what we consume, the more empowered we are to protect our health and make informed decisions. So the next time you're in a store, staring at that brightly colored can that promises energy and performance, ask yourself, is it really worth the crash, the chaos, and the long-term cost to your health? You've seen what happens after just one sip, and now you know the truth behind the marketing. Energy should come from balance, from nourishment, from rest, not from chemicals that push your body beyond its limits.